Okay, today we're gonna be learning the recipe for bat cookies. And remember, this is one of the like recipes that I already have everything for. So this is gonna be one of our treats at our Halloween party. Um, and remember that unfortunately, when I write on the board, it will look backwards to you guys, but I will also tell you the word and I will also um, type it up and put it on the computer as well. So if you guys need the um, words there, then <laughs> I don't know why this sounds weird. If you guys need the words there, then you can look there, okay? Sound good? Sorry that it's backwards, guys. So let's go to our ingredients list and our ingredients. I just realized we never talk about this. Do you guys know what ingredients means? It means all of the things that you need to make your recipe. So everything that's gonna go into making the recipe. Sound good? Okay, so our ingredients are one kit for bat cookies. And if you guys want to know where I got this kit, I also got it at Walmart. <laughs> okay, then we need four tablespoons of butter. And lastly, we need one egg. Okay, I'm gonna erase this and do the directions, but remember, Pause it if you need extra time, okay? That's all right. Okay, now we're going into the directions. And the directions for a recipe are once you have your ingredients, it's everything you need to do to put your ingredients together to make the recipe. Okay, so preheat the oven. You guys remember what that means from our last video? So we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Again, this is a pretty normal temperature for when you're baking stuff, cookies. Okay, then we're gonna spray our cooking sheet with non-stick spray. Or if your family uses parchment paper or something like that, that's fine too. Just something that we put on the pan so that our cookies won't stick to it when they're all done baking, okay? So our next one says, mix the cookie mix butter and egg. I don't know why I capitalized this. And in a bowl. Next one, roll out the cookie dough. Cut it with the bat cookie cutter. So the kit comes with a little cookie cutter that looks like a bat so you can make perfectly bat shaped cookies. Okay, place the bat cookies on the cookie sheet and bake for 13 minutes. Seems like a weird amount of time. Hopefully I wrote that down correctly. Okay, now this one might be a little hard to see, but we're gonna try to squeeze it in. It says, decorate your bat with icing. Okay. So those are the directions for our bat cookies. 
Um, I can't wait to try them at our Halloween party with you guys. See you later.